Hey Siri, who are you? I am Siri. That does not answer my question. Apple has sold over 500 million devices, with a considerable amount of them having Siri built in. But have you ever thought about who the voice behind the screen is? How they voice Siri, or even how you get a job like that? Meet Susan Bennett. Every month, Susan will fill 10 billion requests from Apple users. But she wasn't always the voice actor for Siri. Bennett spent a lot of her time recording in studios, but rather than for companies, she was recording music. Bennett's story is a classic example of being in the right place at the right time. One day, the voice actor scheduled after her didn't show, so the producer asked her to stay after and read a little script that he had. What she didn't know at the time was that this short paragraph would lead to her voice acting for Warner Bros, McDonald's, Disney, Coca-Cola, Paramount, Delta Airlines, Cartoon Network, and most notably, Apple. Her first job voicing machine came in 1974 for the First National Bank of Atlanta. I'm Tilly, the all-time teller. I work for First National Bank. In 2005, a group of Scansoft engineers asked Susan if she would be interested in recording sound bites for them. She signed a contract with Scansoft to record sound bites to be used in a synthesized voice. The script she was given was different from anything she had ever worked with before, because rather than coherent sentences, the Scansoft engineers asked her to read gibberish in a monotone voice. One of the lines she had to record was, Say the shrouding again, say the shrouding again, say the shreeding again. We recorded hundreds of phrases and sentences that were created to get all the sound combinations in the English language. Now, the English language has over a million words, so you can imagine how long this took. The initial recordings took a month in 2005. Four hours a day, five days a week. Then, I did updates for four months in 2011 and 2012. Apple acquired Scansoft in 2010, and with the company, Apple also got Susan Bennett's recordings. The Apple engineers working with Susan's recordings took hundreds of hours of sounds and carefully created an algorithm to modify her lines. This algorithm would be given a word, identify the sounds that made up that word, and then take pieces from lines Susan recorded, splice it together, and finish with a word that Susan never said. This made Siri a concatenated voice, meaning Susan isn't Siri, but Siri is Susan. Siri wasn't the first synthesized voice, but it certainly was the best. Every other concatenated voice of the time sounded extremely robotic. In 2013, Apple released iOS 7, and with the changes, they brought in a new voice for Siri, as well as a mail option for Siri. Susan Bennett may not be the voice of Siri anymore, but she set the standard for synthesized voices. Her voice has become immortalized through her role as Siri, cementing her as a pillar in the story of technology.